16 days now until Grand Prix weekend begins and we see Formula One cars on the strip for the first time. But in the race to get ready, there is a new speed bump. Work being done on all those pedestrian bridges to block the race view does not have many fans. It's even getting vandalized. Fox News' Kim Passoff joins us live now to explain what has been happening out there. Yeah, so we are on the pedestrian bridge over Sands that connects the Venetian to the wind. And this bridge in particular has one of the best views of the sphere. You can see it out right here through the glass. But F1 has put up this film. Some people do not like it and people have come by. They've actually ripped it off so they can continue to get a clear view. People are going to want to take pictures. It is their first trip to Las Vegas. And for Mary and Tom Short, the sphere was on the top of the list. When they walked onto this bridge, they first saw the film covering the glass and obstructing the view. I thought, wow, this is not good. But then we started seeing it some, was ripped few, off. Some openings, so. Yeah. They were happy about that and wondered why it had been put up in the first place. So this is all for F1. They're, you know, they're blocking yeah, the Formula, oh, the Formula yeah. One. So that's what, what it it's is. for, yeah. Kind of ugly, but I could see why people would tear it up. The film, a similar material to vehicle wraps, can easily be pulled back. This is the barrier on the bridge between Venetian and Treasure Island. Hunter Lamac questions why the view of one of the most iconic boulevards in the world needs to be covered for F1. They're already going to make millions off this. Why doesn't Formula One want any pedestrians to see the roads below? According to Clark County officials, it is for safety so pedestrians won't stop on the overpass and watch the race, clogging up the bridge with too many people wanting a free glimpse of the race cars zipping below. And on this side of the bridge that actually faces the strip rather than the sphere, the film is intact. We're told that an enclosure will also be added to the tops of pedestrian bridges to prevent people from throwing things onto the track below during the race. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. We reached out to both Formula One and Clark County about the film being peeled off and who's going to pay to fix it. So far, we have not heard back just yet.